Most postmenopausal females who are on spirolactone and finasteride are not dealing with the overall cause of their hair loss. Spirolactone is a androgen suppressant, so it's bringing down your overall total testosterone, also brings down a little bit of your DHT. Then you have finasteride, which usually around five milligrams for a postmenopausal female will end up reducing some volume of DHT so that it becomes more manageable. But even at that point, they still oftentimes see hair loss. The reason for it is you're reducing DHT a little bit and you're reducing testosterone a little bit. So it cumulatively can be helpful, but it's not actually attacking the root cause. It can be nutritional deficiency. And moving through that, you can end up with a ferritin deficiency and you're going to need additional things like zinc, copper, and vitamin D3. Those things will help manage some of the hormonal influence as well. 